Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. I'm shooting this video right before it goes live. So right now it's Christmas Eve. Happy holidays to everybody out there. Today I'm doing a quick video on something that I picked up a few days ago at Walmart. It's one of these, an Everyman Jack cologne kit. So this comes with cologne, fragrance, body wash, and shampoo and conditioner. So I'm gonna talk about this really quickly, let you know my thoughts on it, let you know if it's something you should maybe check out because it's only 15 bucks. Also gonna talk really quickly about my scent of the day and go over some other things that you might wanna look for in terms of these kind of kits at your local Walmart, Target, whatever. So let's jump into this. So the scent of the day, this wasn't pre-planned. I, I never really think super far in advance about what I'm gonna wear, unless it's something I'm doing a review for. Today I'm wearing this Creed Viking. And tomorrow, my scent of Christmas, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out uh, when tomorrow rolls around. So yeah, guys, this is not gonna be a video that's super in depth. This is not gonna be a video with a lot of editing. This is just gonna be really quick, kind of going back and forth, or I guess, Actually, I'm just talking and you're listening, so not too much back and forth, but you know what I'm talking about. So, Everyman Jack. I've seen this before, uh, not the colognes slash fragrances, but the shampoos and body washes. I've seen those at Target and Walmart. Around this time of year, you'll find a lot of things like this. Not just Everyman Jack, not just Cremo, but lots of different companies will put out things that have body washes and shampoos and fragrances all together. And you always have something like that. A $35 value for only 15 bucks. They're always really trying to push their stuff. So if you don't mind about having some more inexpensive fragrances in your collection, or maybe you wanna pick up some body wash and shampoo, but you'd like the fragrance that goes along with it as well, these can be pretty good buys. Like I said, this was $15, I think technically $14.98. Uh, so it comes with a cedarwood two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, a cedarwood body wash, and then a cedarwood cologne. That's how they pitch it. And this actually resembles kind of an aqua de Joe bottle to me, but it has a curve to it. So there's a little curvature in the glass Outside of that, pretty pretty close, pretty similar to an Aqua de Joe bottle. They also have sandalwood. I believe those are the only two fragrances Everyman Jack has so far. Sandalwood, cedarwood. When I was at my local Walmart, all I could find was the cedarwood. So that's what I went with. Now, I mentioned other brands doing this. Cremo does this a lot. Um, I've talked about Cremo a few times on this channel. I've actually purchased three of the the kits like this of Cremo. Now when I was at the store I didn't see the ones that come with the full-size bottle along with a body wash, shampoo, whatever. I saw some Cremo, or, uh, Cremo kits rather that had a bunch of smaller almost like samplers of body washes like four different ones. Then I saw beard kits, um, grooming kits with like hair gel stuff like that. But like I said, a ton of companies do this. So if you're in Walmart or Target or any store like that in the US over the next couple weeks, you'll probably see a bunch of things like this. Now let's talk about this one more specifically. I've only worn this fragrance a couple times, so I can't go into an enormous amount of depth, but I can let you know what I think about it. And uh, I'll talk really quickly about these, the body wash and the shampoo. So the body wash says that it's a coconut derived surfactants cleanser. Okay. <laughs> it has essential oils of rosemary and sage, along with glycerin, which you're gonna find in like all body washes almost. This one uh, I have used, it does have a really rich lather, if that matters to you. It doesn't smell an extreme amount like cedarwood. It's more kind of got those herbal aspects working, the rosemary and sage, those are much more noticeable. It's still named cedarwood, but it's not extremely cedarwood-ish. And uh, it doesn't say anything about 
the notes, if you want to call them that, in the shampoo. I've used this a few times as well, and uh, guess what? It's a shampoo, so yeah. I mean, it's okay. Now, the fragrance itself, this one has four notes. Um, I actually have it on my phone. Let me see if I can remember them all. It's uh, vetiver, cypress, or yeah, vetiver, cypress, cedar, and orange peel or citrus peel. That's how they pitch it. It does open up with a really tiny bit of a rindy kind of citrus, like a uh, slightly green citrus rind. Not really fresh, not really bright, juicy. Uh, a little more on the, yeah, just the rindy side of things. The woods combined together, the cypress, the cedar, it doesn't come across like a hyper-realistic cedar, which you would probably expect because, again, this is in a $15 set. It's not like this is extremely high dollar stuff. You can tell they're going for cedar though. The cypress gives it kind of a, a green vibe, which again works with that green rind. Uh, now, as it dries down, the rind fades away pretty quickly. You end up just having the cedar and the cypress be the main notes. I know it says it has vetiver in the base of the scent. That's what it says, a vetiver finish, but I don't get a whole lot of vetiver, you know. It's not a very realistic vetiver. It's not a natural vetiver. Again, not what you would, I mean, you would expect that rather, is what I'm trying to say, because of the price. Uh, I believe it's more of kind of a, like a slightly grassy vetiver, not earthy dirty. Uh, when this dries down though, even though the only notes in there, according to the brand, are those four, the citrus rind, cypress, vetiver, cedar, uh, it actually goes a completely different direction. You would expect it just to have a uh, woodsy, basic dry down, but what it actually ends up doing is it turns into a barbershop fragrance. So it's a little bit out of the ordinary based off of the notes and the way it's pitched as a cedar wood fragrance. It goes full on barbershop. So once this dries down, it ends up coming across like it has <laughs> like lavender and anise in there. Uh, and tonka, like a little bit of tonka as well. So even though this has only those notes, you would expect it just to be uh, woods, and that's it. it. It goes barbershop, and it's a very noticeable barbershop in the dry down. It's not really overly woodsy. So to me, that's actually a good thing, and it surprised me. The, the couple of times I've worn this, when it hit the dry down, you know, I was going about my day, and I would smell it and I'd go, I don't remember putting on a barbershop scent. You know, I don't remember having that. And, and it caught me by surprise. I kind of had to remember what I had sprayed on. And I was like, oh yeah, that's that Everyman Jack fragrance. So then I went back, knocked the thing here, went back and sprayed it on again in a different spot, let it dry down and smelled it. And I was like, yeah, that's it. It is barbershoppy. Smells good, actually. I like the dry down. I like barbershop fragrances in general, and this one smells pretty nice, especially when you consider the price. 15 bucks for the whole shebang. Not bad. Uh, I will also say that in the in the opening through the mid, the cedar, uh, the cedar note comes across a little bit peppery, so there's a little bit of spiciness in the opening in the mid, and that carries over into the dry down, obviously, when it kind of sags and changes to a barbershop scent. Uh, again, for the price, 15 bucks for the whole thing. Don't regret it at all. I'll use these up. Uh, I think that the body wash is not as nice as the Cremo body washes. The Cremo body washes uh, come off higher quality in terms of their scent profiles. They smell much nicer overall, but this one's not too bad. The body wash does get off and I give off a nice thick lather and the shampoo and conditioner is shampoo and conditioner. What do you want from it, you know? So this is how it comes in this pack right here with this little plastic insert where your body wash and shampoo are gonna sit with your fragrance right there in the middle. It's got a little information on the back, basically some Instagram type photos of Everyman Jack stuff explaining what each of these are. And I guess this is a 
this is the everyman jack guy, right? So if you're gonna use this fragrance or this stuff, you better look like this guy. You better be rocking that flannel. Uh, yeah, but there's just a, a little info on the back here, and it does come with one of these little things right here. Save six dollars. Wow, sick. It's a uh, coupon book. So it has one dollar off any body wash, one dollar off any deodorant, one dollar off any hair product, dollar off any skin product, dollar off any shave product, dollar off any beard product. And apparently these can be found at Target, Walmart, CVS, Bed Bath & Beyond, Whole Foods, and Sprouts Farmers Markets. So that's a quick rundown of Everyman Jack Cedarwood, $15, not bad. And I did look this up uh, at Target, just the fragrance by itself, I believe goes for $20 at Target. And on their website, I believe it goes for $25 for just the fragrance. At $25, <clears throat> getting choked up here. At $25, I think it's uh, not worth it, just the fragrance, 15 bucks though for all this, it's worth it, it's not bad. And if you don't mind something with a kind of a green, spicy, woodsy opening that dries down into a barbershop type scent, if you, if you like that kind of thing or if that sounds interesting, you should pick it up. I think you won't be disappointed for the price. Uh, really quickly, presentation, longevity is actually pretty good. I got six plus hours out of that when I was wearing it, though it does turn to a softer scent as it heads through the mid. It's not a super loud fragrance, uh, but I don't think you really want it to be, if I'm being honest. If it was louder, it would probably come across more screechy synthetic. So where it's at is good. I think it's fine where it's at there. So just wanted to do this quick video, let you guys know that I uh, picked one of these up. Give a quick rundown, my thoughts on it. I know maybe a little bit rambly, but I apologize for that if that's the case. Uh, let you guys know what I was wearing and wish you guys happy holidays. Hope everything is awesome on your end. Um, if you're traveling, be safe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow, probably <laughs> with another fragrance video. I'm not sure tomorrow's Christmas, so we'll have to see. But if no video tomorrow, I apologize. And I'll get one out to you guys on the 26th. See you guys. Thank you.